gents, I decided to do a hair tutorial for you guys today. If you follow me on Instagram, then you saw the picture where I had curls, I was in my car, and I told you guys I rarely curl my hair because I'm freaking lazy when it comes to doing my hair. I'll go the extra mile on my makeup, but normally with my hair, I like to just brush it and go out the door. That's why I like wearing extensions because I can just brush the hair, go out the door, and it won't look crazy. But I actually decided to curl my hair the other day and a lot of you guys wanted a hair tutorial so here is the hair tutorial on it. I'm not super fabulous with hair but I hope that you guys enjoy the tutorial nevertheless. And the curling iron I used to achieve the curls today is this Babolus Pro Tourmaline 500 curling iron. This is from flatironexperts.com. I will have Flatiron Experts link down below so you can check it out. I forgot how much that I love normal curling irons. Ever since the clipless curling iron came out, I really haven't used the clip curling iron. So don't sleep on these because I really am loving the curls that I created today with this. And I'm actually gonna go to bed in a second because I just wanted to recreate these curls for y'all. So I am gonna use my flexi rods to maintain this so I can have the style for tomorrow. For my edges, just in case any of you guys are wondering what's on my edges right now, I use Dr. Miracle's Fillet Formula. This is their edge holding gel. Let me zoom up on this so y'all can see. That's what it looks like. It's just a styling gel, but it's a little bit more thick than the Eco Styler gel, which is a little bit more light, but I do love the Eco Styler gel nevertheless. And for you guys wondering, I am still natural, so this is my hair up top, and I've got a review coming on this hair soon because I've been wearing this hair for what, almost two months, I think? Yeah, so a review is definitely coming. So if you guys wanna see how I created this look, this hair, definitely stay tuned, guys. Okay, first I'm gonna take my brush and just comb or brush through the hair to get any tangles out. And this hair is not tangled whatsoever, so that was super easy. And then I'm gonna take my heat protectant and I'm using the Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray and I'm just gonna coat it generously on the hair. And then I'm gonna brush it out just to get it evenly on each strand of hair. We wanna protect our hair or extensions from any heat damage, right? To curl my hair today, I'm going to be using this Babolus Pro Tourmaline 500 Curling Iron. I believe this is one inch, and this is from Flatiron Experts. I've got it on the highest setting, and I'm going to section my hair off starting in the back. I'm first going to pull this side out the way. Then I'm gonna pull just a little section out the back and pull this side over just to get it out the way. I'm gonna brush it out and I'm gonna take half of the section that I used. So I'm gonna first start off with this section and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it halfway and twirl it up. I'm gonna hold it there for a little while. Then I'm gonna backtrack and get a little more and curl it up. Then I'm gonna backtrack again and curl upwards. 
and you're gonna get a curl like this. Again, I'm gonna show you on this piece of hair and then I'll fast forward through the rest. So I'm just finger combing it. Gonna take my curling iron about halfway through, twirl it upwards. Hold it there. Then I'm gonna backtrack a little bit and twirl upwards. Hold it there. Then I'm gonna backtrack again and twirl upwards and hold it there. And you're gonna get a curl like that. Now I know it's really tedious and I'm actually gonna go back and do this one because I want my curl to be a little bit tighter. That way it lasts so I don't have to curl my hair tomorrow. But I know it's a little tedious going back and forth, but this is how you get a full curl throughout. If you start on the bottom and then twirl up, it's gonna be curled at the bottom, but not curled at the top. So you shall see, just watch. I'm gonna fast forward so it's not so boring, okay guys? with a couple of sections I'm gonna take my hairspray and this one is the John Frieda Frizzies moisture barrier firm hold hairspray I love this it's very good for humid climates Georgia gets pretty humid I'm just gonna spray it on there and let it sit
and my camera died while I was recording. So we're gonna finish this top section and then I'm gonna do this side off camera for you guys, okay? I'm gonna do this side off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I finished both sides and this is what it looks like. You get very bouncy curls and I'm just going to loosen up the curls a little bit because I like mine to look more messy rather than just put together. If you like your curls to not be messy, don't do what I'm doing. I prefer bigger hair though. So this is the finished look, you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed the tutorial and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.